Scientists inject fish with alligator DNA to create mutant creatures that live longer. Gene protects reptiles from infections when wounded, they say. According to The Sun, scientists have put alligator DNA in catfish to make them live longer. Millions of fish are harvested across the world each year, yet nearly half are killed due to diseases. However, studies have found that by inserting alligator genes into catfish, their survival chances increased by five-fold. The genes, dubbed cathelicidin, contains properties that protect reptiles from infections when wounded. And they explain that typically farmers treat sick fish with antibiotics, but this contributes to the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Now scientists at Auburn University, Alabama, are fusing the DNA of uh, two species, the catfish and the alligators. They detailed their findings in the preprint server BioRxiv. The paper has not yet been peer-reviewed. Scientists used CRISPR to insert the alligator gene that codes for cathelicidine into the catfish, and it found that survival rate of the genetically modified fish was resistant to a common infection. The fish are also sterile, and they cannot produce unless they are injected with reproductive hormones, MIT Technology reports. On a per, pay, per pound basis, anywhere from 60 to 70 percent of U.S. aquaculture's catfish production, says Rex Dunham, who works on the genetic improvement of catfish at Auburn University, Alabama. But catfish farming is a great breeding ground for infections. But thanks to this new method, we may see fewer catfish deaths. Now, I, uh, what about uh, what's more farming? Fish that are resistant to diseases will produce less waste. Aquaculture uh, researcher Greg Lutz from Louisiana State University told MIT. He said that he pointed out that CRISPR catfish may not be the future of aquaculture. It's just too difficult to produce enough of these fish to get a viable, genetically healthy line going, he said. There are over 3,000 catfish species in the world and they are mostly bred for human consumption. The name refers to the prominent barbells, which resembles a cat's whiskers. Now, the thing is, uh, what, uh, would you be able to eat? Would humans be able to consume this type of a catfish that has the uh, alligator DNA? That's the next question. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. This is on WND. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.